of Uranus's strange magnetic field. Data from the probe Voyager 2 misled the researchers. Voyager 2's flyby of Uranus in 1986 delivered the Voyager 2 fleet in 1986 astronomers of the first and so far the only data on this planet collected from a relatively close distance. In addition to discovering new moons and the rings were given a packet of data on the Uranus magnetic field from which it appeared that it works in a completely different way than the Earth's field the magnetic. In new research, researchers re-examined the data 38 years ago. According to them, the probe may have observed a rare phenomenon during of its historical flight. When the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew past Uranus in, in 1986, she collected data that shaped knowledge of the planet. From from the data showed that the planet's magnetosphere is an irregular mess, unlike anything else in the solar system. It affected the way, how we have seen Uranus for nearly four decades. In recent research, scientists have once again looked at the old data. According to them, the quirks in the data result from the probe captured Urana at a special moment, just after the planet was hit by a strong stream plasma emitted from the sun, which compressed the magnetosphere. Results and description of the works appeared in the journal Nature Astronomy. Uranus is the seventh planet in our solar system. There is a also the third planet in size and fourth in terms of mass. It has a ring system and 28 known moons. Along with Neptune it is classified as so-called ice giants. This is because the atmosphere these planets consist primarily of hydrogen and helium and contain more frozen volatile substances than larger gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. In our planetary system, planets rotate around their own axis in the counterclockwise. But not Uranus. Direction of the its rotation is clockwise. What's more, the axis of Uranus traded is different from other planets in the solar system. This planet is rotating, as if she was lying on her side. Its poles lie where most of the planets in the system the Sun's equator. Researchers believe this is the result of a collision from four billions of years with a large object probably a young protoplanet consisting of rock and ice. Two years ago another concept appeared trying to explain the strange axis of rotation of the planet. According to her, they are responsible for this the moons of Uranus. But that's not the only peculiarities of Uranus. Supplied by the probe Voyager 2 data on the planet's magnetic field has been a matter of what has been over the years scientists have established the functioning of the magnetosphere. Since then, Uranus he has earned a reputation as the greatest freak in the solar system. But the scientists in the recent work has found a simple explanation for this mystery. The magnetic field creates a bubble in space, called magnetosphere that acts as a buffer for continuous flow of ejected particles by the sun as the solar wind. The Earth's magnetosphere made it possible to form in life development, protects the atmosphere from the solar wind and other charged with the particles. It is believed that the magnetic field is generated by currents in liquid the core of our planet. Observations of the solar system have shown that some others the planets also have magnetospheres, although the mechanism of their formation may not be same as on Earth. The data sent by Voyager 2 showed that inside Uranus magnetospheres were electronic radiation strips of the intensity that gives way only to the stripes of Jupiter radiation. But it was not no source of electrified particles that could power the active ones the belts. Moreover, the magnetosphere seemed to be asymmetrical, field intensity magnetic in the northern hemisphere was much stronger than in the hemisphere southern and the magnetosphere was almost devoid of plasma. Lack of plasma he wondered scientists because they knew that the five main moons of Uranus in the bubble magnetic should produce water ions, just like ice moons around others of the outer planets. According to a recent analysis by Voyager Spacecraft 2 data, a few days before the historic flight in Uranus hit a strong A plasma stream emitted by the Sun, 
or the solar wind. It is up to Fiat compressed Uranus magnetosphere to just one-fifth of its usual size. If Voyager 2 had arrived just a few days earlier, he would observe a completely different magnetosphere of Uranus said Jamie Jasinski from Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, lead author of the publication. He added that the probe had collected data in exceptional conditions, which are very rare, only for about 4% of the time. As the wind from the sun hit and compressed the magnetosphere, it evaporated plasma from the system. This event also briefly intensified the dynamics of the magnetosphere and amplified the radiation strips by adding high-energy particles from the Sunday. The magnetosphere measured by Voyager 2 was only a snap in in time, said Linda Spilker from JPL. New work explains some of the apparent contradictions and again change our view of Uranus, she added. A robot capable of moving around the brain. Engineers from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT, have developed a thread-shaped robot that is small enough to work in narrow spaces, such as the vascular system of the human brain. This type of technology can be used to remove congestion in patients from stroke or brain injury. The thread-shaped robot is controlled by a field that's a magnetic. It is very small. It is less than 0.6 millimeters in diameter, which allows him to maneuver in narrow, winding blood vessels, such as like those in the human brain. Built from nickel alloy and titanium in which the small magnetic particles needed for navigation were embedded it's a robot. In the future, this robotic thread combined with others technology can allow doctors to maneuver the robot through the vessel's bloody brains to remove congestion that occur in strokes. The results of research on robotic thread appeared in the journal Science and Science Robotics. Stroke is one of the most common causes of death and disability in the United States. If he could cure a stroke in within about 90 minutes, patient survival rates could increase significantly. Suan Yi Zhao from MIT said. If we had a device at our disposal to remove the blockage of blood vessels during this baby hour, we could potentially avoid permanent brain damage, he explained. To remove blood clots in the brain, doctors perform minimally invasive surgical procedure in which the surgeon introduces, most often by femoral artery thin wire. Conducted by a fluoroscope, which at the same time it depicts blood vessels with X-rays, surgeon reaches to the damaged place. It then releases drugs that dissolve the clot or it it removes. As Outness You Know Kim, CEO author of the publication, this procedure it is difficult, requires specially trained surgeons and is long-lasting. The surgeon must manually control the device is exposed to doses radiation, and additionally the device is covered with material, which it can potentially cause friction and damage the lining of blood vessels. Researchers from MIT aimed at improving similars the methods. They have used the knowledge gained in recent years hydrogels biocompatible materials made mainly of water, and materials created with the help of 3D printing technology, which can be controlled by a magnetic field. As a result of the work, a robot in the shape of thread covered was created hydrogel, which during the tests dealt exceptionally well maneuver in the exact model of blood vessels in the brain on a 1 colon 1 scale. Silicone model based on scans of computed brain CT scans patients, along with clots and aneurysms. Dishes in the model have been filled the liquid simulating the viscosity of the blood. The core of the robotic thread is made of nickel alloy and titanium, which is both flexible and resilient. The robot is covered a special paste in which magnetic particles were placed. The hole was applied also a hydrogel that provides a smooth, frictionless device, a biocompatible surface. It is this layer of hydrogel that gives the robot an advantage allowing for maneuvering in tight spaces with minimal risk the stuck. Kim admitted that robotic thread can be converted into several ways, which means that it can perform various functions, 
on example to provide drugs that reduce clotting or break the clots for the help of laser light. To demonstrate the latter, the team replaced the core thread of fiber. In the tests, we managed to control the robot and activate the laser. One of the challenges in surgery was moving through complicated system of blood vessels in the brain that have a very small the diameter and which commercial catheters cannot reach, explains Q Jin Cho from Seoul National University. Research has shown the potential to overcome these challenges in enabling surgical procedures in the brain without open surgery, he added. In the near future, the team plans to conduct tests on the live animals. 248888888